So it's Harul Pushpam and welcome to Sitecore Shades. So today I'm going to show you how to create a site in Sitecore SXA. Yeah, let's get started. So, so let's list out what are the things I'm going to cover today. So the first one is um, Visual Studio Solution. Yeah. setup it's nice and next I'm going to show you site board is site setup there we are going to see the serialization part So let's go on by one. So first one is the Visual Studio Solution Setup. So let's see that. Um, so I already have created one Psycho solution for this uh, series and the name is Psycho Shades. And I have created the folders, configuration, feature, foundation and project. Actually, I am following the Helix architecture, so I am following this. And then I have created only one project. The project name is Block. Uh, we are going to develop this project. This is my template and I'm going to uh, develop the same project in SXA architecture and I could see the project name is the stand block so I just followed that and yeah uh, so it's the very simple and empty solution I didn't add any logic here and I just uh, added the basic setup uh, files and in the configuration folder we can find a few files in the gulp and uh, git ignore files and if you open the file in file explorer here we can find all the files and I have you uh, added that file in the configuration folder so um, actually uh, I'm using the gulp for directly publish all the files from my visual studio into ww root that is the main purpose um, for using that so my uh, solution setup is done and next we have to install all the required files the very first thing is we have to install the site core instance so already we have installed that and for now we can ignore this step we can do this step later and the third one is we have to install the node and the npm you have to install this in your local that's it and the next step is we have to um, do the configuration in the gulp config file if you see the gulp config file here here we have to give the web root uh, path and then the dev root so web root is the um, our site core instance path uh, from ww root and the dev root is if you open this solution in file explorer you can directly copy it and paste it here that's it and solution name is here the solution name is site core sheets so we have to give our msql dual version that's it uh, so this part is done the next part is we have to install all the npm so uh, actually as i mentioned we are going to use the gulp and uh, so for that first we need to install the npm uh, if you open the file system here you can find the node modules and actually i just ran this command after that only i got that folder so if you want to create that folder then you have to go to the terminal and here you can run all the commands one by one in case if you have faced an issue and i have mentioned that issue here in case if you face the same issue you can follow these steps to resolve that and yeah that's it and then the step five is the serialization step we can ignore that so our solution setup is fine i just created one empty solution and i have added all the uh, record files like gulp and gulp.js and uh, yeah and i have configured all the configuration file so um if i run the um, so so if you open this task runner you can find all the tasks here in case of any issue in the installation of the node or gulp then definitely you would not see this task here so please ensure that you have to install that properly and once it installed we can find all the tasks here and if you uh, right click here you can find the run and you can run the task um, if you like to run a task one by one like first i like to run a feature 
feature task and then i like to run the foundation then you can go one by one in case if you like to publish all the files into your ww root then you can simply go to the terminal it will open the powershell script and you have to run only one command that is the gulp gulp so once you run it you can find it will automatically deploy your files into your ww root so the mapping is coming from this configuration file that's it yeah so we are good with the sidecore solution so we can the first step and next go to the sidecore sxa site setup for that um, we can go to the sidecore and yeah my sidecore is open so right click the content so you have to please go to the content and right click and here we can see the tenton folder let me create a tenton I like to give the name as Sidecore Shades and yeah let me use all the modules and then OK and it's loading now yeah then close and here I can find my tenter so let's right click and yeah we can create a site now and we can give the name like stand block yeah i'm going to use the um, uh, stand block dot dev okay then it's your folder okay and then modules i like to use all the modules and i like to create a new theme and the base themes are okay and grid i am going to use the boost up grid file yeah let's create Yeah, it's done. So, so open own pop up. Let's see. Yeah, here I can see my stand blog dot the item, and yeah, virtual folder also good. Yeah, there is no conflicts here. Let's close it. And in case if you like to change your site setting, then you can expand your site and in the settings. And here you can find one site grouping. And here we can find our site description so if you want to add um, any other new name you can add a pipeline and uh, uh, let me add a stand blog dot uh, stage yeah um this is the way we have to add and if you use, if you don't like to publish each and every item in your local development then you can uh, change the database into the master and yeah So we have created the site that's good so the next one is serialization site core cli uh, so for the serialization first we need to add the um, package so let's download the package just um in the site core cli package and yeah here i can find the package so the next step is installing the site core serialization cli so let's start that okay then let's find the package first let's open this site core management service and then here we can find the package url yeah so let me download the latest package and um, yeah accepting and then we have to install this
let's accept the agreement and then next and then next next so the installation is done then close so we have completed the third step so let's see um so the next series we will see how to do the serialization using the json files yeah stay tuned thank you